Hello. Uh, yeah, welcome to Isis Interpretation. So this is the uh, we are starting a video series uh, of interpreting ECG of level one. Uh, basically, from whatever our community is going to contribute in our Telegram group. Okay. And um, yeah, so well, first of all, uh, those who are watching this video, uh, kindly you know uh, be thorough with the level one interpretation of ours uh, without that this entire interpretation would not make any sense because we're just di di directly jumping into the interpretation of ecg i'll not be telling any of the concepts because every concepts every strategies and every formulas what we implemented here is already been taught in the uh, pre-recorded sessions with high-end graphics and animations so before entering uh, seeing this video just go through the level one ECG and all the steps what we mentioned and formulas revise and then only see this video then it makes sense if not it will not make any sense it will be very vague because we are not touching on the concepts we're just interpreting the ECG practically how to uh, come to a final interpretation of the ECG strip right so with that let's go ahead so just go through the dis disclaimer before you go ahead with the video so uh, all the ECGs interpreted on this particular uh, video series uh, would be based on the uh, level one of ECG training of ours where we will be covering uh, 25 topics in this particular ECG interpretation. Okay, the first ECG is contributed uh, by Ravi Gucci of our community of Dr. Sachin Academy. Okay, so of course we'll be interpreting the entire ECG under those 25 headings this is the th different headings who which we will be interpreting and then giving our interpretation okay oh so let me go back right so this is the first uh, ECG let me take my pen right the first would be standardization as you can see it has to be 10 box height and 10 box width but as width would be around uh, it can be seen as around uh, three I suppose so whenever you are applying the formula of uh, to the what we know about EC level one so you have to be careful when you're looking into width of the ECG okay that's what it says when stand it's not properly standardized the ECG machine second thing is AVR so let's look at the AVR okay so lead AVR is here right and you can see that we have reversed uh, PQRS that's how it has to be correct okay now the third point would be rhythm so rhythm where do you see you see in the lead one which is a uh, lead two which is a long strip uh, which will be taken on an ECG where you can see the rhythm so rhythm basically you're gonna measure between the first R to second R what is the boxes and then second R to third R what are the boxes like for all so that you know it is equal so it's regular right so uh, looking into the rhythm so it is one two three four five one two three four five looks like it's regular right here also five five you know uh, every variable tutor has to be five okay right uh, right so now the next so the rhythm is regular so it's regularly regular every time it's coming on the same time of the ECG strip regular right so uh, rhythm is regular weight uh, what is the rate now it is around five boxes so uh, as we discussed you no know, it should be between uh, no it is three to five boxes so uh, the rate would be around six to hundred right so in this case if it's five boxes thousand five hundred by uh, uh, you know uh, five five is a twenty five it would be around 60 so it would be around 60 bits so it's normal three to five boxes it's normal right and now let's go to the axis the axis where do you see axis axis uh, you're gonna see in the lead one and in lead avf so in lead one it's going up and lead avf it's going up if it's both are going up that means it's normal axis coming to p wave morphology where do you see p wave morphology p wave morphology is seen in lead two but as if you can see here we cannot see any p wave here no p wave no p wave the slight p wave slight p wave is present okay so it could be um looking where we could be looking into uh what you call it as um, uh, junctional arrhythmia but we'll not conclude that because we have two p waves but uh, from level one uh, perspective p wave looks normal okay 
right so now let's move on to pr interval In the pr interval again uh, i'll just erase the dates here just a minute let me erase it the bottom now let me erase everything okay right so uh, when it comes to uh, now then right so uh, rhythm strip right that is for pr interval so now let's look at the uh, pr interval pr interval seen in the lead two so let's look at the pr interval okay so we can look at the pr interval should be three to five boxes right from beginning of p to r so it looks like it's around four or around five boxes right if you put two boxes to the four or five so it is the normal limit okay but however uh, there is no p wave here no p wave here no p behavior and also there is a small uh, no shortened p wave here so this uh, gives an uh, a query of it could it be in something related to junctional rhythms or junctional complexes okay and uh, yeah so this is more into level two uh, uh, ECGs, so we'll not discuss further here, but as of now, it looks normal in terms of level one. Okay, so we'll not get into level two of discussions here unless you have completed the level two. Uh, most of the committee members have not done it. Okay, right. So now uh, the next would be on uh, uh, so PR interval is normal ST segment. Looking into ST segmentation, so if we can draw a line in the in isoelectric line baseline. So you can see that everything stays within the uh, isoelectric line. So there is no change in the height. Okay. So this shows that it is there is no changes in terms of there is no changes in terms of uh, uh, ST segment. Okay. Now coming to uh, uh, coming to uh, hypertrophy right in terms of hypertrophy uh, and of course uh, t waves are uh, all normal looks uh, thing is normal except for one here uh, as i told you one uh, it, it has to be you know um, uh, in the at least two uh, in two or more consecutive leads it cannot be in single lead which will not give us a complete interpretation okay so it is not significant okay and q wave is not present however right so coming to the hypertrophy so right ventricle hypertrophy sv1 plus uh, no uh, right ventricle is yes uh, in v1 s by r r by s should be more than one however that means the r should be tall and s should be small but that is not happening here so that uh, indicates it is normal so left ventricle hypertrophy what we'll do for left ventricle hypertrophy we'll add s of v1 and v5 is r right so uh, it is one two three boxes means 15 so normally it has to be more than 35 correct so that is not there so that means uh, uh, no, left ventricular hypertrophy is also not present coming to bundle branch block uh, there is no wide qrs complex there is no wide qrs complex so there itself the bundle branch block is uh, ruled out okay so that means basically this is an uh, normal uh, rhythm okay normal sinus rhythm uh, it could be uh, there could be some junctional uh, irregularities but however if you can look into the ecg uh, only thing it shows here is bradycardia uh, it could be you know in the borderline bradycardia which is not less than 60 if we accurately calculate uh, if you can see here it is exactly here at the beginning at the end so one two three four five so exactly 60 okay so uh, bradycardia is below 60 right and or 60 you can keep it as so either this could be as ecg of bradycardia and rest all the features are normal okay so let's move to here so standard is right so it is standardized lead reversed rhythm is regular rate is uh you know 60 it's the rate is 60 beats per minute axis is normal p wave is you know it's normal right and there is no uh, hard block uh, st segment everything is normal normal uh, 
Now in terms of normal, it's normal, normal, not present, not present, not present. Hypertrophy is not present, right? Uh, so basically, the what is the uh, diagnosis of this particular ECG is? It has this rate is less than or equal to 60 beats per minute. Okay, so this would be the diagnosis of this particular, sorry, interpretation of this particular ECG. Okay, right. So now let's move to the next ECG. Right. So, uh, so make sure when you're sending an ECG strip, you have a proper picture because, as you can see in this video, uh, it is not so clear. But we'll see uh, as much as possible from whatever we can see. Uh, what would be the interpretation? It is uh, contributed by MD uh, Gausal Alam. Alam. Sorry if I you know uh, spelled it wrong. Okay. The first thing is let's go systematically, right? First is standardization. Uh, again, the standardization looks okay, but however, not exactly complete. Okay, and uh, lead AVR. If you're going to AVL, AVF, AVR, uh, there's slight changes in AVR. Not so clear, but uh, assuming. It is inverted P wave and R is here and S is here. It looks like reversed. Okay, and rhythm. Uh, we don't have a rhythm strip here, but uh, just looking into the lead one, uh, the distance looks equal. So rhythm is regular. Uh, rate. Uh, of course, we cannot exactly calculate. Let me see. It is one, two, three four maybe around four boxes so three to five boxes is normal so rate is uh, normal axis um, uh, coming to axis lead one uh, if we calculate both it's going up uh, lead avf it's going up so the axis is normal okay um, now uh, PV morphology of course PV is not so clear uh, but however it looks normal okay and the PR interval of course we don't have rhythm strip so we cannot comment on PR interval ST segment uh, if you look into ST segment let me draw a line here looks normal normal uh, uh, it's just a one uh, normal here AVL uh, there is slight widening here or let's come back to that AVF again there is light ST elevation looks like uh, here it is um, ST elevation I'm not sure okay this is same thing uh, this is not there uh, V1 here right AVF after V1 V1 um, yeah so if you can see in this V1 there is okay that we'll see later okay so there is T wave inversion, this T wave inversion, T wave inversion, T wave inversion, uh, maybe T wave flattening. So in the rest, rest of the cases, there is uh, T wave inversion AVF. Okay, and if, if it is in AVF, it should be in lead 2. If it is in lead 2, it has to be in lead 1, but it's not in lead 1. So 2, 3, uh, sorry, 2, 3 AVF, right? Uh, let me erase this. Uh, it does, doesn't, it's not confirmatory here, but however, 2, 3, uh, sorry, 3 AVF and um, no, uh, V1, 2, V6, all this T wave inversion which indicates ischemia, right, uh, or not present anyway, right, okay. And then we'll have hypertrophy. Uh, we have right ventricular hypertrophy, left ventricular hypertrophy. Yes, there is right ventricular hypertrophy. As you can see, there's a tall R wave. Maybe it is around, uh, no, um, how much? No, it may be eight boxes on the top, and below it will be two, uh, two fours are eight. So, yes, by sorry, R by yes should be more than one so if it is more than one that is four right so it is more than one so it is an uh, right ventricular hypertrophy okay and when let's look into the left ventricular hypertrophy 
this is v5 uh, even though it is one two three boxes here there is no one box so it is not left of the cathodography bundle branch block so basically bundle branch block we looked into um, we looked into uh, in um, what is it in chest leaks right basically so however there is right band uh, no, uh, rsr pattern here which is not significant there and if i come to v1 right this is v1 in v1 uh, there is no widening of qrs complex it's all looks normal if there is no widening there is no block okay that's it so now what's the interpretation right so when it comes to interpretation here okay so let me use it yeah okay so a standardization okay you can just put as yes it is reversed a rhythm is regular um, uh, rate is around how many boxes i think four boxes so it's normal axis is uh, normal uh, pvm uh, pvm material is no it's normal uh, it's normal okay pr interval is normal but of course we cannot see this cannot be interpreted here H to segment there is t wave inversion right so t wave is, is present uh, from v1 to v6 and 2 and no sorry not 2 3 and avf that is inferior here uh septal anterior and lateral okay right so there's no other uh, right ventricular hypertrophy right ventricular hypertrophy right this is also pleasant this is not pleasant so patient is present with uh, uh, no ischemia sorry bad handwriting okay patient with depression presented with the ischemia uh, of uh, inferior inferior part of the heart and also septal anterior lateral part of the heart uh, uh, inferior septal lateral inferior septal lateral part of the heart anterior part of the heart and then also present with right ventricular hypertrophy okay so this is the interpretation of this particular ecg okay so let's yes thank you uh, this is the two uh, ecgs which we started so this is the first time which we are uh, interpreting this and thank you for the community for adding the value to the ecgs uh, please share uh, as much as ECGs you would like to if you have any doubt and uh, please give the interpretation also along with that so that you know we can together discover what changes are seen and if there is any you know alteration in that and yeah so uh, we are happy to you know we have crossed around 5000 members on our platform and uh, so we have also released a level 2 ECGs so unless we have around 1000 participants who have taken our uh, level 2 ECG uh, will not touch upon ECG level 2 interpretations uh, unless we get any specific ECGs however uh, yeah so I encourage everyone to put up your ECGs and uh, let's interpret together and learn and grow thank you